Water levels are just now slowly starting to recede in parts of eastern Canada. The country watched as Mother Nature swept through Ontario, Quebec and parts of the Maritimes with a devastating force in recent weeks. The damage is expected to reach into the billions when all is said and done. But the good news? It appears the worst of this year's flooding is over and relief and repair work can now begin. And Alberta knows all too well what residents of eastern Canada are going through. Some Alberta expertise is now back east, helping residents cope and recover. We're joined now by Calgary resident Walter Martin with the charitable organization Samaritan's Purse. First off, Walter, you're in New Brunswick. Update us on what the situation is there. Well, floodwaters are starting to uh, recede finally, so it means that we can get in and start uh, helping the homeowners get into their basements, start uh, you know, getting the all the drip rock out, the insulation out, dry it out, get all the mud out, and then they can start rebuilding again after we uh, sanitize and get everything nice and clean again. Mm -hmm. This is the second year this has happened, so some of these people are very devastated. It just keeps happening. Yeah, the devastation is incredible. And how long have you been there helping with the effort in New Brunswick? Uh, I've been here for about a week now. Uh, we were here for six weeks last year. Mm -hmm. And you, you talked about it a little bit already, but as water levels continue to lower, what kind of mess is, is being left behind? Where, where do you even begin? Uh, well, that's where we start with uh, lots of help, lots of uh, volunteers, and uh, lots of garbage bags, lots of shovels, and uh, lots of fun. We try, we try to make it fun anyway mm -hmm. and uh, try to have a good time. Yeah, try to have a positive attitude. Is there still potential, though, for further flooding? Uh, at this point, it doesn't sound like it, so it kind of looks like they're out of the woods now. And how are affected residents coping? What are you hearing from people in communities? Uh, it's, it's hard on them because they went through this last year. A lot of people have rebuilt and uh, now they got to rip it all out, start again. Some people haven't rebuilt. I guess that's a positive thing, but uh, it's hard on a lot of people. There's a lot of elderly people that uh, live in some of these homes. They've been there for years and they don't have the financial capacity to, to keep doing this year after year. Certainly, and, and speaking of financial capacity, the federal government has announced $2.5 million to the Canadian Red Cross to support flood recovery efforts in Eastern Canada. Is that money getting into the hands of affected homeowners right away? Uh, I don't know if it ever gets into the homeowners right away, but uh, according to last year, it, it does get into the homeowners' hands. We just don't know, you know, if it gets to their as soon as it can or if they have to wait for it shell it out first and then wait for it later mm -hmm. and in terms of the immediate need what exactly do people need most right now uh some people just need uh some people to be there for them uh a lot of being a friend to them right now is uh very important again there's uh some elderly folks that uh, don't have the capacity they need some helping hands and they also need a shoulder to to lean on right now what has it like, been like for you to be there? Have they been very grateful to see helping faces coming from across the country? Oh, everyone's great in this town. Uh, because we were here last year, they've accepted us very well. And uh, we've, we've gotten to know some of the faces, some of the locals, some of the local businesses. They work with us uh, just unbelievably well. And uh, it makes it so it's easier for us to do our work and to do it more efficiently and to do it quick, quicker. Certainly. Can you at all compare the devastation experienced this year with the flooding in eastern Canada just two years ago, or perhaps what happened in southern Alberta back in 2013? Uh, well, because they've seen this before, uh, it's a little bit different than southern Alberta, but uh, it, it doesn't matter where you go, how it happens, when it happens. It's hard on families. Some people don't know where to turn. They don't have a place to go. So they're trying to live through this in, the, in a home that... Uh, is uprooted and needs a lot of work and some of these aren't healthy places so they they do have to find a place to go until it's all cleaned up and the health hazards are gone certainly now how much longer do you plan to be deployed in new brunswick we're now hearing that waters have crusted in ontario could you be headed there next uh we'll probably be here for another uh i'm, I'm guessing four to six weeks and uh we've just uh sent a truck and a team they left this morning from hamilton area and uh, they should be hitting uh, Ottawa right now. And then we'll be in the Ottawa area with the team and also in the Gatineau area with the team as well. Well, thank you so much for the work that you're doing and, and for giving us this update. Yeah, if you need any more information, just go to SamaritansPurse.ca. Thank you.
Thank you so much. That is Walter Martin with the charitable organization Samaritan's Purse.